In this uh, movie we'll show you how we can machine um, a medallion. Uh, so I'm in the Partmaster CAD system at the moment and this is the drawing which is a DXF file that we've imported. So uh, we need to create contours of each one of these um, elements to allow us to machine it. Uh, there's two ways we can do this. Um, if we wanted to uh, create individual contours ourselves then we could use the NC button here and we could choose contour and we can create the contours manually. Uh, now that's okay um, but if you've got lots of contours then uh, an easier method is to do it automatically. So if I just undo that and what I'll do is I'll use the select button here and click and drag around the area I'm interested in and then that highlights the selection I can use the cursor to deselect any items I want within there but if I want to create those uh, contours automatically I go up to machining and choose automatic creation of contours and reading the information panel here I'm going to select yes for normal mode. So we can now give these uh, contours a depth. Uh, when it encounters a circle it will ask us to indicate the start point and this will be at zero degrees which is the three o'clock position. So that's created uh, the contours for us automatically so we can now save that uh, drawing away and now we can transfer those contours into the cam system so we go back to machining milling module and because this is a new job we get the machine set up so I need to check on my tool change position so the tool change position in X and Y is zero, but the Z should not be zero because uh, Z zero is the top of the job. So I've got a tool change position of three inches here. The clearance plane, which is uh, clear of any obstructions, any clamps or fixtures, I've set to two inches. And the feed change plane, which is where the uh, system will change between a rapid and a feed rate, is an eighth above the job. So those are the contours there. If we wanted to just do a simple machining on each one of those uh, uh, and have the tool represent the center line, then we can simply define a tool, give it the length, give it the cut depth, select that tool for use. This is where we set the spindle speed and the feed rate. So we can have a feed rate in the XY plane and a smaller feed rate in the Z axis. If we want to use coolant, this is where we switch it on. So we're now going to do a go round command. So we're going to choose one contour. It doesn't really matter which contour I choose. And I'll set up the parameters for this contour. So if we want the tool to have no offset, so the tool center line is coincident with the contour, I choose offset none. Uh, my approach and runoff, I'll also uncheck those, set those to none. So if we left it at that, then it would just machine the single contour that I indicated. But under our options tab, we've got another button here, which is machine all contours with the same group number. So when these contours were created in the CAD system, they were assigned group number zero. So they're all within one group. So when I click OK, that machines each one of those contours. So a single operation will create all the contours and then a single operation will machine them all. If on the other hand we wanted to do a different bit of machining, for instance if I switch off the go round command, supposing on here we wanted to have the letter B as uh, a sunken face with the uh, centre portions as islands, then I would use area clear and I would select that the outside contour is that 
and then under Island I can click and drag around those two entities there and I've got two islands set up there so I click OK and that will produce an area clearance operation uh, between those two uh, islands and the outside shape. If we see any small areas which are unmachined then go back into area clear and under the options tab change the tool swathe which is the step over. The default is 70% if you switch it down to uh, 50% then it'll make sure that it clears up any unwanted islands. And you could do, use the same routine if you wanted to machine out the area from the B to the outside. But when you do that you'd have to create a contour in the CAD system which went halfway around the B and then included these other arc segments here. And in other videos uh, you'll see how to create the contours where there are decisions to be made. Okay, so that's how we can machine that. <laughs>